In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of a simply supported beam carrying a point load at the center of the span. Before watching the tutorial, if you didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future. Now let's start with our today's topic. Consider a simply supported beam of span L carrying a point load W at a distance of L by 2 from both the ends. The reactions at both the supports will be equal to W by 2 as the load is acting at mid span. Now consider a section XX between A and C at a distance of X from end A. The shear force at this section XX will be equal to the resultant of forces acting on left portion of this section since we have considered the left portion of this section. But the resultant force acting on left portion of the section is W by 2 and is acting upwards. And we already know the resultant force acting upwards in left portion of a section is considered positive as per the sign conventions of shear force which I have already mentioned in my previous tutorials and you can go through it by visiting the link given in description. Now let fx be the shear force at section xx and fx will be equal to plus w by 2. The shear force will remain constant between a and c and will be equal to plus w by 2 since there does not exist any extra load between a and c. Now let's consider a section between C and B at a distance of X from end A. The resultant force acting on left portion of this section will be equal to this reaction force W by 2 minus this vertical load W which will be equal to minus W by 2. This force will remain constant between C and B since there is no any other extra load between C and B and shear force between C and B will be equal to minus W by 2. We can conclude that the shear force at C changes from plus W by 2 to minus W by 2. In order to draw the shear force diagram, we will start from drawing the baseline AB. At point A, since the value of shear force is plus W by 2, so we will draw plus W by 2 to some scale at point A. Since the shear force remains constant between A and C and equal to plus W by 2, so we will draw a parallel line above the baseline from A to B as the shear force between C and B remains constant and equal to minus W by 2. So we will draw minus W by 2 to some scale below the baseline at point C and we will draw this uh, parallel line from point C to B and by joining these points we will get our shear force diagram. For a better visibility the shear force diagram will look like this. For bending moment diagram, please watch the second part of this tutorial. I have given the link of second part in description. Thank you.